Thank you very much, uh, Cahirlach. Um, leader, uh, I've discussed this before in the Senate, but it's really about a vision for high-speed rail on the island of Ireland, uh, particularly between Belfast and Dublin, and it's based off a meeting that Deputy Jennifer Carl McNeil and I held last week with people who, who really want to support the concept of it. But the issue with it is this would be one of the largest infrastructural projects on the island of Ireland, uh, and it is something that is going to take 20 years minimum. So even if you were to start on day one with all of government behind high-speed rail, you're not going to have high-speed rail on the island of Ireland until 2024. One of the key reasons why it should be between Belfast and Dublin to start off is because that is the economic engine of the island of Ireland. Um, it is where the vast majority of the population live, about 2.3 million people live in that area. Uh, and when high-speed rail is introduced, it will cut the journey time of about two and a half hours down to just one hour. Um, that's the economic reasons beside it. One of the other reasons is we need to... All of this talk in recent uh, weeks and months about United Ireland and all of this type of stuff, one of the key things that we need to do between the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland is to try and increase cooperation through infrastructural projects. If we can show that we can make this island economically viable by infrastructure like high-speed rail, that is going to do a lot to bring both communities together. I, I really firmly believe that. Um, and what I would think is that what we need is, well, there's talk about uh, strategic rail reviews and feeding into that. Really what I think is needed is a minister, similar to maybe Seamus Brennan in the 90s when he deregulated the airline market to let Ryanair into it. You need someone who is going to come along and say, we are absolutely doing this. It's going to take time. It's going to be unpopular. People are going to question the need to do it when it's 20 years away. But it could be one of the largest infrastructural projects on the island of Ireland that would have a huge benefit both north and south. And I think it's something we really need to consider strongly.